Alright, what's up guys? Today, you guys can notice it's a bit of a change in scenery. This wasn't necessarily out of choice. It's more out of convenience just because my current living situation isn't ideal for filming in the restroom. It's just some like weird angles in there. So, wanted to give you guys this. Let me know if you guys can't really see what I'm doing for my hair. But, I feel like at this point, you guys kind of get the gist of like what's going on. Um, I'll continue to work on the visibility. I know the contrast isn't too crazy, but we'll just deal with it for now. So today we got, hold up, this is basically my first review as officially the pump. Damn, I've, I've been waiting for this day, dude. It's been like four, five, five years. I'm just scheming on the the low, you know. We got a pomade coming from Finland, Dick Johnson's original fiber wax signature scent, and it's described as insouciant. I had to look that up because I had no idea what that meant. But essentially, if you guys read the description of the product, it's basically carefree, um, like a loose kind of definite, not loose definition, but like. It has a definition of being kind of loose. Um, yeah, I mean, when I think of like a fiber wax, it's like you get this very loose and like carefree kind of style. I wouldn't necessarily depend on it for slickness, but with most fiber waxes, I get a pretty good hold from it. And the style I usually go for is like this basically cash. Um, let's go ahead and do the usual. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the jar, take a look at the application process, see how it performs throughout the day, and then I'll kind of come back and give you guys a gist of how it held throughout the day, what my final thoughts are on it, and basically, it's basically the usual. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the jar. Taking a look at the jar, we see that it comes in that international 100 milliliters. This is roughly 3 point something ounces. I believe it's right at the threshold for TSA's like carry-on policy. So that's one convenient feature. Super cool um, gold kind of accent throughout. I really like how they keep it consistent throughout just so that things kind of mesh together fairly well. It's not overly decorative, but it is kind of hard to read in a bright room just because everything kind of reflects. As you guys can see, super small text. So what is that? The ingredients? It's pretty hard to read, but it's still legible. Uh, you have your directions, spread product into hands, rub it into hair and style. Singer scent, strong hold, matte finish. Pretty standard. So opening the jar. We get a nice creamy fiber wax. So when I actually scooped this out, it was pretty satisfying because like the layers kind of, here, let me show you. It's kind of hard to explain. I wonder if you guys can see this. Like it just molds out super nicely. Um, I don't know, that just has a very nice satisfaction to it for me. So let's go ahead and get to the silent process. All right, let's go ahead and get to the application process. As you guys saw earlier, it's fairly easy to scoop out. Super creamy, super buttery. Reminds me of, um, hmm, if you guys ever use lotion where it's like sheer butter, it has like that kind of consistency where it's like a little thicker than lotion. And for me, I just feel confident that this would style my hair pretty well just given the weight of the product so spreading around your palms super easy done the scent you get from this they describe as raw whiskey mixed with vanilla I definitely get that strong vanilla scent whiskey I haven't had too much experience in terms of like knowing what whiskey smells like it just smells like alcohol to me. My palate isn't refined to that extent yet. But two scoops, 
just because my hair is a little bit thick, I opted not to thin it out this time when I got a haircut. Um, just wanted to go with a heavier look. Not heavier look, but like a more full look, I guess. So, about two knuckle size scoots for me. Usually, I do this much on the first day of application. The following day, um, I typically don't go crazy in terms of like washing my hair. So, there's definitely still product left over. That way, I can kind of style it pretty easily the next couple of days before I do a like thorough shampoo. So applying it, very, very, very easy. As you guys can see, my hair is, boom, it's held in place pretty nicely. So that this is just styling with a finger comb kind of thing. Which is kind of crazy, I just got a haircut this morning. Did a damn good job. So if I were to go on a casual like look, this would, basically I would just leave it at this. Um, I'll go ahead and comb it so that you guys can see what it looks like. Boom. This is a pimple from moving and the stress that comes with it. I had to dispose of a freaking sectional by myself because people had work and did not coordinate too well. Alright, so that's what I can kind of achieve at this point with a combed look. I don't know what's going on with my hair. It's fairly voluminous right now. Maybe it's like we haven't gotten the heat activated in the place. So I've been taking like super extreme cold showers. Maybe the briefness of that has helped. But as of now, I get crazy volume from the product. We'll see if it lasts throughout the day. Um, right now I'm very impressed at how high my hair is going. It usually doesn't go this high. But, cr crazy amount of hold, um, definitely on the side of more of a strong hold than any like mix of medium strong. No shine, um, wouldn't really call that shine, it looks like it's just the oil from my hair. You get a nice like little sheen from it, um, I don't, well I don't know why I did that. But, let's go ahead and go throughout the day, uh, see how it feels how, how it performs and yeah I'll catch you guys in a bit and let's wrap up this review um, it's been I'd say seven to eight hours at this point went to the gym took some photos ate dinner with a friend and just kind of caught up for a while so fairly casual day nothing too crazy um, workout was a lot of squatting so I guess movement was pretty um, unilateral was just like literally up and down I wasn't like jumping or picking things up from the floor so as you guys can see hair is fairly still in place obviously I fixed it here and there because it did fall from me sweating but overall hold is pretty damn strong um, restyling it let's go ahead and show you guys if I were to like kind of pull it to the other side it responds fairly well My hair's just like crazy volume today. I don't know why. Maybe it's just like slightly shorter. And it's like, yo, I'm free. I'm gonna rise. So, as you guys can see, the hold isn't as crazy like heavy or like strong. But with the more like agitation the product gets, I feel like it kind of loses property to hold your hair together. But this has lasted a pretty good amount of time. Slickness, obviously there wasn't like too much to begin with. So I don't expect it to be here at this point. I do feel a little bit of strays coming out here and there. But let me see. Other than that, it's like 
it lasted me a pretty good amount of time. Scent is pretty much gone at this point. I don't really get that whiff of vanilla. It's very, very light. Like, from fixing my hair, I can barely smell it on my palms. Other than that, I'd say it's a very, like, nice, nicely made pomade. Um, this fiber wax isn't, like, that very, like, what was my last experience with the fiber wax? I don't even remember. But I just remember it being, like, very gritty. Not like a clay, but it's just like... Damn, I wish I had that other fiber wax. It was like a yellow one, I forget what it was called. But, whatever the case, this one is just like very nicely like heavy and creamy, where it's like very easy to apply. Holds your hair down pretty well, and for my like wavy hair, it just worked, like it responded like nicely. Um, didn't really feel like there was crazy buildup. Not that like there should be because it's like the first day. Um, I know the rinseability or like washing it out. It's just fairly straightforward. One shampoo and most of it's pretty much gone. Um, other than that, that's, I would say that's pretty much it. I'm impressed. I like it. It's definitely going to be like one of my go-tos at this point for like a more casual a more like laid back look mm. when I travel with it I think so I think I just enjoy the scent a lot like the vanilla and like I guess the whiskey scent it's just a very nice like mellow and heavy kind of scent mm -hmm. performance that you guys can see restyling it super easy styling it has been super easy as well so I'm just looking this way because I that's, I'm just thinking. But other than that, we'll go ahead and review their original pomade. I think it's original. Let me double check. Yep, the original pomade with the signature scent. This one, I just opened it right now. It smells exactly like the candy coke. It's crazy. Excited to use it. Haven't used it yet. So, we'll release this review in a couple of days. Just so I have time to try it a little bit more. But hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time as officially the pump.